Previously on the Tales of Familia Eternity. She wasn't involved, alright? It was, it was all me, okay? I, I was the one that poisoned Neverwinter. You what? You what? I can tell you where, where our hideout is. It's it's behind the, the church. Behind, of course. <laughs> Which church? There's probably like 20 of them in town. The one you just went to, no. I guess you guys are just turning in for- like, do you want to, like, grab a drink or something before- before you turn out or whatever? You know, that actually sounds fantastic. Salvador, get us some drinks! You hear, in the middle of the night, a loud banging coming from the front door of the tavern. The closer you guys get to the door, uh, the more you can actually hear somebody on the other side. And, you know, this person rapidly banging just- Sal, Sal, open the goddamn door! I swear to the fucking gods, open the fucking door! Uh, Devorah goes and quickly opens the door. This Tuffling makes his way in as quickly as possible. This Tuffling's a, a immediate reaction is to just try to, like, keep the door closed. And he's just- he's just kind of, like, looking at you guys like, Well? Given a couple of seconds, the door is burst open, and five of those ink creatures start coming towards you. All right, so Josh, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna hit the uh, creature beside me that's near me with my course off again. I got a 16 plus two is an 18. Yep, that hits. Okay. And I got a four. Okay. Well, it's it's starting to not look so great. It's still kind of there, but you know, it's not doing as well. How many are left? Uh, there are three left currently. Goodness gracious. Yeah, there's two by Solace and one by Josh. So I think one of my head should do it. Well, I'll tell you when that's a thing. It's not falling apart. It just looks kind of raggedy. Raggedy Anne. Okay. So one of the monsters, finally realizing that someone other than Solace is giving it attention, it's going to turn and try to attack Dora. Uh, and it, I don't think a 10 hits, right? Nope, swing and a miss. All right, I gotta do better. All oh, these poor things. I, it's so it's trying so hard. <laughs> uh, one of them is still gonna try to hit uh, Solus. All right. Uh, does a twelve do it? Oh, so close, dear. <laughs> God damn it! All right, one more point. This is sad on my end. You almost got it. <laughs> so close, but not no cigar. <laughs> Solace, Solace, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now it's gonna try to. The other one is gonna try to hit Josh. Okay. Uh twelve. Uh it, it hits. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Fucking finally, <laughs> I get to hurt something. I'm so sorry, Josh. <laughs> the ink monster is crying silently in joy. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 finally match about the hit. Finally, uh, three points of damage. Oh, then, then I'm halfway dead. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That's right. You're just a baby. It picked the best person to hit. Yeah, because my hit point is maximum is six, so it took oh. three. God oh damn! Fuck. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. Well, now it's gonna be uh the Tuffling's turn, and he's still gonna hit that one. That, it's just, it's so close to dying. Someone needs to kill it. This is going to be the one that, like, just attacked uh, Devorah. Okay. Yeah. I'm keeping track, sort of. <laughs> Alright, it just barely hits. But barely is good enough for me. Yep, and with another strike, he <laughs> strikes one dead. Nice. Cool. cool. Alright, yeah, he just, like, stabs it and it, like, melts. Alright, and now it's Solus's turn. Uh, so there are two left, right? Yes. One by you and one by Josh. Is the one by Josh in my range? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and hit that one with my mace. Cool. And 17 plus 2 is 19. Yep, that's a hit. Okay, and a 28. Uh, that was a 7. Alright, yeah, this thing is starting to fall apart now. Now it's not looking so great. All right, so now it's Devorah's turn. All right, and I'm going to go and attack the one that just attacked Josh. Fucking protecting the sun. 
<laughs> that so is nasty. a 19 plus 3, so that's 1, 2, 3, that's a 22. 20, yeah, 22. Yep. Oh, that definitely hits. That hits like four different times. But you only get to roll damage once. <laughs> yeah. That is a 3 plus 1, that's 4. Okay, yeah, this thing is not keeping itself together very well. A, a stiff breeze can kind of kill this one at this point. And now it's Josh's turn. Will he be that stiff breeze? Let's find out. Okay, I will hit it again with my quarter spell. I got a 6 plus 2 is 8. Yeah, that hits. It only just barely, but it hits. Okay, good. <laughs> and damn it, I got a one. All right, well, it's still like chugging along. I mean, it's not chugging along all that great, but like it's trying. More of it's on the floor than it is on like the actual creature, though. I should have used the spell. Well, you're very close, so you'd have to take a step back. All right, so. One is going to keep attacking Solus, and the other is going to keep attacking Josh, because that's they like that system so far. It's a bad system, but they like it. And unfortunately for Solus, this one rolled a crit. Ooh. <laughs> so luckily for you, though, well, I mean, you guys have low hit points, so maybe that doesn't mean much. Uh, it's five points of damage. All right. <laughs> uh, it's livable. <laughs> I'm scared. I, I feel. I feel. Your nerves. Well, well, of course I'm scared. I'm half dead. Uh, does an 11 hit? Oh my god, no, it does not. <laughs> okay, well then you're good. You're good. <laughs> Thank god. All right. Solas, how are you doing, by the way? Oh, I'm, I'm fine, actually. Oh, okay. I still have four hit points left. Ooh, you're not <laughs> as fine as I thought you were. All right, well... Uh, the Teflon's gonna try to help you out again. It's gonna try to stab this other one. Uh, yeah, that does it. Yeah, that's a decent amount of damage. And this guy's, uh, the one that attacked his soul is, it's still kinda together, but, you know, it's really not looking great. Solus, it's your turn. Okay. I'll turn back that damage in kind with my mace, hopefully. I got a 9 plus 5, so 14. Yep, it hits. Cool. And I got a three. Yeah, this thing is falling apart now. So close. The ink is just kind of falling off of its inky body. I'm very good with the words. All right, now it's, <laughs> now it's Devorah's turn. I'm going to go after the one that attacked Josh. That is in 18 plus three. That's one, two, three. That ends up making it a 20. You guys have a lot of good rolls, and I'm not sure if I like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> As for damage, that is a four plus one, that's five. Oh, yep, this thing is dead. Fuck yeah! Sweet, so there's just one left. That's what you get for messing with my son! Yep. All right, so- I feel like the Teflon looks over and is like, very confused at that comment. Um, just, uh, You guys uh, don't uh, look anything alike. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that he says that, by the way, you guys look nothing alike. <laughs> um, for the record, um, Devor is not my is not my actual mom. Devor is just kind of laughing in the background <laughs> as that as that's brought up, and as Josh is explain as as Josh just says she's not my mother. Devor is just in the background, like laughing. <laughs> she's not my real mom, guys. <laughs> Devor, stop laughing. We're not. But I mean, she's like a mom. Solis, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, so now it's my turn. Um, I will take a step back and I will use my last spell slot and cast Magic Missile at the Ink Monster that's, that's near Solace. Okay. Okay, so first roll. Got a 9 plus 4 is 13. Alright, that one hits. Second one. Uh, I got a 2 plus 4 is 6. Yeah, that one misses. Uh, I got a 10 plus 4 is a 14. Yeah, that one hits. So two hit. Give me that sweet, sweet damage. Okay. The first one is a 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay. And the last one is a 1, plus 1 is a 2. But I did 6 damage. 7. No, 7. Yeah. Yeah, 7 damage. We could do math here. Yeah, this thing is... 
barely keeping it on. It's just... Oh, this thing. So stubborn. It is stubborn. So it's going to, uh... You know, it's going to decide to attack Devora. Oh. <laughs> oh, bad choice. It got a little confused. Like, now there's more people attacking it, and it's not really sure what's happening. So it's just, like... It's not really, like, attacking Devora. It's just kind of, like, waving its arms, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, that's a 19. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hits. That definitely hits. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I can do you in for. Uh, a three. <laughs> I'm still standing, bitch. <laughs> it tried. Uh, but just as this thing was attacking you, you see two more of these ink monsters oh, come fuck. Oh, come Are on! Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, all right. Uh, this tepling is going to still help you guys out and try to get rid of this last one for you. The last one that's like up in your grill. Oh, God. That like barely made it. Jesus. Tepling roll better. Oh, yeah. He stabs it and it melts again. What the fuck is... What is this guy on? <laughs> so so is that one dead? Yeah. So that one's dead. You okay. see uh, two more of these things kind of... <laughs> is there anything we can do about the door? I mean, we can close it again. <laughs> Solace, it's, it's your turn. It is my turn, but uh, I might need help if it's just me. So I'm going to turn to the Teflon and be like, um, do you want to go do something about that door? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather not be fighting these things forever. Okay, cool. I mean, he just went, though, so you're going to have to go first. Yeah, so I'm just gonna run. What is my, what is my max? My speed is thirty feet, so I'm running. Oh right, so you get about halfway there. It's gonna take you another turn to fully get to the door, though. All right, all right. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Because you can't attack while running. Oh sure. Uh, I'll whip out my crossbow. Nice. And I will attack one of the newer ones. Lovely. <laughs> Whoop. I got a six plus five, so eleven. Yep, that does it. Cool. An eight. Wow. Ooh. That's good. Oh, it looks so cool. That's a that's a spicy arrow you got there. Alright, yeah, this one like staggers back. It did not like that. It's not smart enough to realize it didn't like that, but like <laughs> it staggered back. All right, Devora, what you gonna do? So real quick, how far are we away from the door? I think sixty feet. You're like sixty feet. Okay, so I'm gonna run for it too. That's thirty five feet, and you can just a little bit farther than. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a race. I mean, it could be if you want. <laughs> um, Devora's gonna switch to her longbow and shoot at the same inkling that uh Solace shot at, and that is a sixteen plus three. That's nineteen. Yep, that does it. Oh, dang. These guys need better armor class. <laughs> and uh, damage is five plus one, six. Oh my, that's a number. Oh yeah, this <laughs> thing is falling apart now. It only barely got here and it's falling apart now. <laughs> All he wanted was a nice beer. He just started killing him. <laughs> 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 All right, so now it's Josh's turn. Um, I would cast Ray of Frost at one of the ink monsters. To slow them down. Are you going to do the one that's already been hit or the one that hasn't taken any damage? Um, I'll do the one that hasn't been hit. Okay, cool, cool. So I got an 18 plus 4. That's a 22. You guys roll really good. And I don't like it. <laughs> it hits. Don't say that because then next thing you know, we're rolling ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that's fair. Roll bad now. And, and my damage is a 2. Well, that still did a thing, and also it slowed, so... Yeah. Don't knock it too much. Alright, these things are gonna, like, try to walk closer, but they don't get very far. Uh, the the one that's really been taking a beating gets kinda close to Solus, but, like, not actually close to do anything. It's, like, mm, ten feet away from you. And the other one just, just kind of staggers on in. Only 10 feet, so it's not doing much. So um, the Tuffling is going to, you know, make his way towards the door. 
he gets about halfway there, you know, 30 feet, and he's going to switch with his short bow and attack the damaged one. And I just, like, almost lost my die that, were, that was right in front of me, which is <laughs> Wait, amazing. Which damaged one? The slowed one or the... The the one that's, like, really falling apart. Okay. All right, and that was a good. So, now I get to do damage. Oh, shit. This thing is, like, barely hanging on. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, a swift breeze. So now it's uh, Sola's turn. Okay, she's still running towards the door. She goes another 30 feet, and as she's running, she's going to make another shot at the the one that's falling apart with a crossbow. Cool, cool. So four plus five is nine. Yep, that hits. Sweet. Eight. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's dead. Fuck? It's so dead. Woo! Great yeah, job! Yeah, you, you shot it. <laughs> uh, you, you shot it, like, in the face, and then it just melted. And she runs to the door. She's like, now what do I do? <laughs> you close the goddamn door. <laughs> but with what? Just close the door and lock it. Just close the with door and lock it. Oh, I thought the thing was, I thought the thing broke. I thought they like burst through the doors. Uh, I mean, they did. But the first step is to close the doors. Well, yeah, first step of course is to close that. the door and see if the thing actually broke. Yep. Okay. Closing the doors. So, so you're closing the doors. If you want to keep the door is closed, you're going to have to do a strength check to just, like, make sure that nothing comes through. Okay. Okay, I got an 18. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're closing it real good. It doesn't seem like anything's <laughs> gonna come in. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. So you did that. Uh, and now it's Devorah's turn. Alright, so Devorah's gonna head up to the door, too. Okay. Uh, do you wanna do anything with that door? Do you want to... You might want to lock it. Find a way to lock it? Yeah, let's find a way to lock it. Well, w- uh, what are you going to do to lock it? <laughs> Is the big... what? Ha- okay, so what happened to the... I'm assuming the big block that Wooden was... piece. That could lock it before is broken. Yeah, it is broken. It broke in half. Okay, I just have to make... I just have to, um... Start fucking grabbing furniture and barricading that door then, I guess. Yeah, you can do that. I want you to to roll strength to see if you can pick up these these furniture pieces. That is a two plus one three. No. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you try like you you get like really underneath this table and like you you try lifting, but it just it's not working for you. You get it like an inch off the ground, but then it just falls back down. <laughs> it's a super sad display. You you feel the Teflon judging you softly. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Wait, we can still we can still talk out of turn, right? Yeah, you can. Of Talking course. is a free action. Okay. You can do it whenever. Cool. So, um, Solus says to Devora, "There's still the pieces, right? I have mending." Oh fuck yeah! Just like so. Oh shit! Like, yeah, you do have mending. <laughs> I have mending. So pick up the pieces and just put it back together, and I'll do something next time. <laughs> Or real soon. <laughs> Devora does that real quick. I'm really hoping I don't need some sort of other No, you check can't for that. do that. Your roll is over, man. Damn it! You, try- <laughs> you can't. You can't Josh! do it, buddy. <laughs> Josh is not at the door. <laughs> Josh is too far. When you get closer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. Well, also don't don't forget that like the the tuffling is halfway there. Yeah, he's yeah. hearing your conversation. Somebody, whoever gets here first, do it. Well, I'm like 60 feet away from the door, and, and the tablet is, is halfway there. <laughs> but I will try to get over there as quick as I can. Do you guys, like, always whine with each other? Is that, like, a thing? Because it's already really annoying. <laughs> hey, hold on, Josh, Josh, don't forget, you can actually do a double move on your turn instead of taking can I? an action. To- yeah, you can move, and then instead of taking an action, you can do another movement. You could. That's a thing you could do. Oh, okay. I am um, uh, out of character. I didn't know about that. It's okay. I forget about these things, too. So double dash. Okay, so I do get over there. But I don't think you can do anything after the move. Well, that's actually up to our DM. Yeah, it's up to me. And I'm going to say that uh, if you're going to double dash, then I'm not going to really let you do anything else. Because uh, you're putting all your energy into moving. Well, well that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, also, don't forget... Don't forget, though, you're really low 
hit points. Yeah. And there's still two monsters out. Yeah, yeah. Are they? Well, actually, there's there's one monster out who's slowed. Well, the door's closed, so I can't really. So I can't really cast a spell at it if the door's closed. You can. It's it's. It got in. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. So so I go halfway there and I cast spray frost. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hit me with that good shit. It. Uh. I miss. I got two plus four is six. Oh yeah. Nope. That did not do what you wanted it to do. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I tried. It's okay. I, we know. We know you tried. Yeah. So so this ink monster sees a lot of movement going by it, and it kind of, like, turns to see what's happening, and then it just keeps turning in a circle, and it's gonna, like, stagger <laughs> towards Josh. <laughs> but it's slow, so it only moves ten feet. I'm just imagining, like, a dog chasing its tail. <laughs> yeah, that's basically really it. Slowly. That's basically exactly what happened. <laughs> It's really sad. It's not close <laughs> enough to Josh to do anything, though. Um. So, so how far is it from me? Uh, I would say like a another like ten feet. Okay. Oh right, and now it's gonna be uh the Tuffling's turn, and and he heard this whole like long winded conversation about wood pieces, so he is finally able to get to the door, and he's the one that just picks up the wood pieces and puts them back on the door where they are supposed to belong perfect yeah and uh, he'll just like let you do your thing at this point it's conveniently solace's turn next so it is so um let me find the spell really quick so that i can read that off okay mending it's a transmutation cantrip and this spell repairs a single break or tear in an object you touch such as a broken chain link two halves of a broken key a torn cloak or a leaking wineskin as long as the break or tear is no larger than one foot in any dimension, you mend it, leaving no trace of form or damage. So the spell can physically repair a magic item or construct, but the spell can't restore magic to such an object. So, as long as the break isn't more than a foot long... Well, it is, it is just a foot long, so you are good to go. <laughs> Alright. Did you just yeah. come up with that on the spot? I'm not allowed to give you my <laughs> secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh... All right, cool. Yeah, it just happens. <laughs> it's sealed. It's sealed now. But that still leaves the one ink monster that's just like lurking around in this tavern. We all just kind of stare at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody move. It can't hit you if, it, if you don't move. <laughs> no, like with death glares. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, that's going to be the end of your turn unless you want to like move or something. Um, uh, no. I'm good. Okay, so it's going to be Devorah's turn. Alright, so let's attempt to get rid of the one that's, like, just kind of in here. Yeah, how, that's a good how idea. How far is it away from the door? Ah, uh, I would say that at this point it's, like, 20 feet away from the door. Okay. I just need to know if I need to, if I can keep my longbow out or not. Yeah. It's going to be a 13 plus 3, that's 6. 16. Okay. Yeah, 16. I was like, wait, that's not, <laughs> that's not math. I thought, <laughs> I thought for a second you just, like, went ahead to the damage, and I'm like, wait, I'm not following completely. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, no, 16. No, it's okay. Um, you gotta do whole numbers with me. I'm very slow, like these monsters. Uh, two plus one, that's three. Okay, well, it's still, like, it's still looking all right, but it does have some damage. All right, uh, Josh, it's your turn. I don't think it's close enough for me to hit it with my core stuff, so I will- No, it's like 20 feet away. It's 20 feet away from you, and it is coming towards you, so, I mean, take that what you will. So, so in that case, I will try again with Ray Frost. Okay. Do you want to, like, take a step back or something? Yeah, yeah, I take a step back, and, and I, got, okay. I got 15 plus 4 is an 18. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. And I got a five. Got a five? Oh, yeah, this thing is... It's not looking so great. It's still, like, together, but it's just not looking super good. It's also and it's, chilly again. Yeah, it's it just... It's chilly. It just stopped being chilly, and now it's chilly again. Which kind of <laughs> sucks, to be honest. <laughs> um, But it doesn't care that it's chilly now that it's its turn. So he's gonna... It's gonna try to move toward you again, Josh, but it, like... Only moves 10 feet, 
and it just kind of like waves its little arms at you, but <laughs> it's not it's not close enough to do anything. Why is it Hello. waving at me? <laughs> well, it's not waving to like say hi. It's waving to like. I know. I know that. <laughs> no, it's absolutely waving to say that hi. That was just me being obnoxious. It's okay. <laughs> that makes good podcasting, I think. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll get feedback on that. <laughs> You're being obnoxious. Stop it. <laughs> Never. But, but also continue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now it's uh, the Tufflings' turn. And since there really is only one guy left, he's just going to take a couple of steps forward and shoot at it with his, you know, short bow. Because that's all the rage nowadays. <laughs> and unfortunately for him, he just misses by a couple of inches. Aww. Now it's our turn to judge him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck you guys. Anyway, now it's Solus' <laughs> turn. Uh, how far is it? Uh, I guess it's 40 feet away now. Darn, that's out of my range. Okay, crossbow time. So, here we go. It's my favorite time. It's 11 plus 5, so 16. Yep, that does it. And... One damage. (laughs) Well, you know, it's the thought that counts. (laughs) Yep. Alright, so, uh... Now it's Devorah's turn. Longbow time! Okay, cool. That is a 17 plus 3, that is 20. Right? Yeah. Math right, that's yes. math. And the damage is gonna... That is a 7 plus 1, 8! Eight. 8, okay. Well, that does damage. That does a whole lot of damage. Fuck yeah. This thing is falling apart, man. It is not good at keeping its form. And now it's Josh's turn. Okay, so it's still not close to me. 40. Nope. Not for lack of trying, though. It's still 10 feet away, so... It's 40 from... You and and Solus, oh, but okay. it's it's about ten feet from Josh. All right, my bad. Yeah, I know. I'm very bad at keeping track of this myself, but I'm trying. <laughs> so 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 now I will cast Ray Frost again because I used up all my spell slots. We're gonna get you a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just <laughs> shout that? <laughs> yes, yeah. Devor just kind of shouted that. <laughs> We're gonna get you a bow. <laughs> <laughs> A bow would be nice. Um, um, oh, I got an 18. Plus 4 is a 23. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, I got an 8! Woo! Ooh, excellent! It's super dead. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yes! Woo! Yeah. <sighs> At last. You just hit it with this ray of frost, and, like, it starts to burst, and then it gets cold, and then it just, like, falls. And shatters, and now there's like icy black things just lurking around. That's my boy! Yay, I did it! Yeah, um, you hear like some knocking coming from the door, like it's, it's, it sounds like another one of these ache monsters, but it can't get in because the door's closed. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's the end of this encounter. Yeah, <laughs> it only took like an hour Yay. and a half. Yeah, you solved your <laughs> ink puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, excellent. <laughs> good, good. Who knew that uh, the the answer to my ink puzzle was just murder? <laughs> constant, <laughs> constant murder. Yup. Hey, everybody. This is Siobhan slash Debbie here. Whichever one you want to call me. Wow, that sure was one hell of a fight, huh? Man, our DM did not let up on us. <laughs> Why not take a bit of a breather? Just want to give a shout out to everyone who's been listening to us. We've gotten some feedback, and it's just so amazing. You have no idea how happy we are. It's just so great to know people are listening and enjoying us just having some fun playing some good old D&D. We're super excited to keep playing, and even more excited for you guys to hear what's coming next. Now, because we're new, and we're only four episodes in, we have no sponsors. So, what am I going to be talking about here? Uh, this podcast. Duh. Hey, guess what? Everybody playing this campaign is super good at art. Want to know when the episodes come out? Maybe other campaign content? Some pretty sick-ass art from these artists that I just mentioned? Follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at ToffeeCast. That's T-O-F-E-C-A-S-T. 
You'll be the first to know when an episode comes out and where to listen to it. Which, you know, isn't all that hard since we're just on YouTube right now. But hopefully we'll be able to put these episodes elsewhere. If you would like to support the podcast, check out toffee.tumblr.com slash support. There you'll find our official Redbubble, where we'll be planning on releasing merch soon. We also have a Ko-fi page where you can send us a small amount of money. Yeah, you know, like the price of a coffee. All purchases and donations will go to getting better equipment and to help improve the show. So, if you can, send a few bucks our way. It'll help us out. That's about all I gotta say, so let's hop back into the adventure. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Enjoy the rest of the episode. See ya! Alright, so now that that's all said and done with... (laughs) Yeah, the definitely just kind of looks around and is like, wow, this place looks like shit now. I mean, it didn't look that great before, but well. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so before we end up forgetting, uh, what's your name? Actually, before before he says any, anything about his name, Devorah, I want you to make a history check. Oh, yeah, because I probably uh, know this person. You probably do. <laughs> I probably fucking know this person. That's a six plus one, that's seven. Oh, he seems familiar, but you don't quite <laughs> recall, yeah. unfortunately. Um, but he does tell you that uh, his name is Phoenix. I fucking knew it. <laughs> of course. I only have so many tough <laughs> oh ones. Oh my god! <laughs> as soon as I was like, well, what is, like, I can recognize, like, the weird thing is, like, your voice doesn't change much when you do certain characters, but, like, I can recognize when you're talking as Phoenix. Yeah, well, it's because... And you also He's said angry. Tefling. Oh, yeah, that too. And you said Tefling, and it's like, the only Tefling characters I know of you having are the Gomezes. Yeah. And it's not, that, that definitely wasn't the Irene voice. Definitely not. And for the audience, uh, yeah, remember how we said we're going to have a bunch of OCs in this? <laughs> this is one of this Phoenix is one of them. <laughs> yep. Oh, I love him. Yep. I mean, this is my campaign, so I can throw as many OCs as I want. I mean, at the end of the day, they all are my OCs. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah. pre-existing-wise, Phoenix yeah. is a yeah. pre-existing OC. Yep. Maybe you'll learn more about him next time. Who knows? <laughs> um, also, another fun fact is that Sal is also Shari's OC. I think we pointed that out last time. Possibly? I don't Maybe. remember. I don't remember. Us, like, uh, we did during a break, so no one heard it. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Salve is also one of my OCs. It's short for Salvador. Mm-hmm. But I don't have time for his full name. Anywho. Yeah, so he just introduces himself as, as Phoenix. And he walks to uh, the bottom of the staircase and just shouts up, Yo, Salve! We fixed your goddamn ink mess. <laughs> sort of. Can you not be a jerk about it? Phoenix just kind of like... Is that in canon? Did Josh actually kind of say that? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, Perfect. I mean, Phoenix took it as canon. He just kind of like turns over to Josh and it's just like, look, buddy, look, I had a fucking long day, so don't you try to come at me with being rude and all this shit. So did we, and we fought a horde of big monsters. What's your excuse? Oh, oh that, you know, I was not us. here for that, apparently. I mean, he fought the Horde with us. The Horde thing just happened. I mean, how short-term memory do you have? That was literally (laughs) seconds ago. But, uh, yeah, so while you guys are just kind of having this little argument thing, (laughs) (laughs) um, Sal just kind of, like, peeks his head out. He's just like, is is everything okay? Are they all gone? Yeah, they are. (sighs) Thank God. And he comes down, and he's just like, this is this is a pretty big mess. And as you guys look around, yeah, yeah, no, this looks pretty messy. All of the ink monsters kind of like dispersed into all these black spots on the ground now. Solus kind of like puts her head down. And she's like, I'm sorry about your light. That one was me. <laughs> how, how did that even happen? I was trying to throw a bolt of light and I missed well, uh, small price to pay, I guess. Oh, actually, that's gonna cost quite a bit of money. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. And, uh, he goes around, uh, 
around to the back of the bar, just pulls out like a mop and bucket and just gets to work cleaning up this this mess. <laughs> um, um, Sal, do you need any help? Uh, some help would be really great. I think there's there's another uh, mop and bucket if you want to grab one of those. Devoro goes to grab it to help clean up. Okay. Phoenix is just like, I'm just gonna grab a drink. <laughs> and he just kind of helps himself to that. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone upstairs all right? Yeah, everyone else is uh, is doing pretty all right. A little shaken up with the noise and everything, but otherwise doing all right. That's good to know. What time is it? Uh, I'm gonna say that it's like 11 p.m., like 11.30-ish. Oh, great. It's it's late, but it's not, well, I mean, I guess for me it's not that late. I have a warped sense of time. Yeah, but that means we still have like several hours until dawn, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, after this, Vora and Solus can just go and fucking meditate. Yeah, they could. That is true. But do do you think that the door will hold until then? Because it didn't do so hot last time. Uh, they they can put, like, more tables in front of it. Barricade. Okay. Yeah, it's it's honestly the best that uh, Salve can do at this point. He'll see if he can get maybe uh, Catherine to just take, like, a shift in front of it. Mm-hmm. In case something does go down again. Okay. So, um, Devorah and Josh are the ones that are helping out cleaning, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you find uh, really quickly that these uh, black spots on the ground, they're really hard to, like, wash out. Like, no matter how much you scrub, like, there is still some level of black spot. And you realize that uh, the stains that you saw when you first came in the tavern, these are the same stains. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very Jackson Pollocks. I don't know what that is. Oh, never mind. It's a <laughs> classical. It's like a pop artist. <laughs> oh well, I'm, I'm sure. Makes... I'm sure somebody in the audience will have gotten that joke. Somebody more cultured than I will get that joke. <laughs> Jackson Pollock's or Jackson Pollock? He did a bunch of splatter paintings. Oh, oh, that's why I probably don't know him because I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironic, I guess, considering the campaign I wrote. But you know, them the bricks. But yeah, so as uh, Phoenix is sitting by the bar, uh, he just kind of calls over to you guys and just like, hey, uh, quick question. Are you guys those adventures that uh, Salve was talking about before? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, trying to get to the bottom of this whole plague nonsense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Devorah nods. How's that, uh, how's that going out for you guys? Well, well we... Nice lead. Um, yeah, yeah, we um, uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, need a hand with it? Honestly, like this whole mess is just fucking bullshit. And if I can get yeah, to the bottom of it, no kidding. You know, I'm starting to reconsider my offer already. <laughs> <laughs> Devor has never seen Josh so rude to somebody, <laughs> or so no, not rude, so sassy to somebody. <laughs> Where is the sweet boy that I n- knew and loved? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he can get sassy, but like, this is the sassiest he's, he's been since they started he started mentioning it's like Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet fictional Jesus. <laughs> I told you, he can get really sassy. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I, I, I'm, I'm mostly making a joke. Like, they've never, like, Devorah and Sol- Solace haven't seen him this sassy before. <laughs> <laughs> and like weirdly enough, it's all directed at Phoenix. So it's like, <laughs> the fuck? What's happening? Why? <laughs> Actually, just, it's not really all that surprising. Us. You know, the history between the two is like as actual OCs. Yeah, but pff, the audience doesn't have context anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Phoenix m- maybe slightly reconsidering his offer, but just like <laughs> honestly, he just like wants to fucking kill whoever started this goddamn mess. Uh, yeah, um, about the killing part, no, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm all about killing monsters, but killing actual people unless they've done some, like, uh, well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Devorah yeah. immediately reconsiders what she's about to say. <laughs> yeah, uh, think, think real hard about that. There's been enough death as it is in this town. Well, as for who or what started it, you won't have to worry about that. They are definitely squared away and taken care of. Um, 
But as for the source, we have a lead and we're planning on going out there tomorrow. Well, in the morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning. In the morning. If you want to come, then I guess that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I want to get to the fucking bottom of this. I can't even go home without these ink monsters trying to attack me. By the way, Phoenix, it's nice to meet you. My name is Solus. It's nice to meet you, too. It's nice to be meet one of the nice ones out of your bunch. <laughs> I try. I'm Devora. It's nice to meet you, Devora. I don't need to know your name. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, wow. Thanks. You're welcome. It's not like you said your name yet. <laughs> so, I mean, how is he supposed to know it if you haven't said it? But now I don't need to, should I? <laughs> you'll, you'll, just, you'll just be the other one. He certainly doesn't care what my name is. Nope, I can confirm. So why the fuck should I just give it to him? <laughs> You're imagining like Tavora and Solus kind of look horrified. <laughs> like, what the hell? We've never seen Josh like this before. Especially Tavora. What happened to this sweet summer child? Solus walks up and puts a hand to Josh's shoulder. She's like, but Josh, you have a beautiful name. <laughs> nope, already forgot it. I know you mentioned it, but I <laughs> uh, when you're <laughs> in one ear out the other. Do you see my point now, Solus? <laughs> Maybe if Josh was fucking nicer, I would bother to try to remember. <laughs> Maybe may, uh, maybe you weren't so fucking rude, I would give it to you. But you're not. So, so you get <laughs> So you get in this attitude. He just kind of flips you off and like goes back to drinking his drink. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun oh, adventure. I just know it. <laughs> oh wow, Millifinger, that's that's so insulting. <laughs> okay, so how about bed? <laughs> Sleep? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> that sounds great, right? <laughs> yeah, it totally does. <laughs> Josh, let's see you get you upstairs right now. She's just kind of like pushing him. Josh, are you resisting this? No. Okay, good. Gotta get up bright and early. <laughs> oh my god. Devora, are you coming or you got stuff to do? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> she just follows along. Oh my god, this is how I killed my party. <laughs> She called, and she, like, yells out. She's like, have a nice night, Josh! Are you Phoenix? <laughs> night, Phoenix! Good night, guys. <laughs> Fuck you, other one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, too! No, oh, man, this is gonna be a long, a long session. <laughs> Everyone good? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. As good as we're ever gonna be? Um, oh, I am all tip top. All right, cool. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. We just said you're okay. That was a lie. <laughs> uh, I need some water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, now, now I'm okay. I'm good. Okay. So you guys go upstairs to take your rest. Um, and, and your plan is to get up basically at dawn, right? Mm -hmm. Does any of them comment on what just happened between Josh and Phoenix? Well, I mean, Phoenix is downstairs, so he can't comment. It will be you guys. What the hell was that all about? I have never seen you like that. <laughs> I'm, like, Solus is just nodding along, just like, that was really strange to, to see. Look, guys, I'm just tired. Yeah, it has been a pretty long night. But that guy was kind of pretty rude. And I was just gonna be with B, but I guess it's just annoying me that much. So, sorry about that. No worries, just a little concerned there. Because like I said, I've, I've known you for a while, and I've, I've never seen you act like that before. You should definitely talk to my brothers. They know how sassy I can be. Are you going to be alright for tomorrow? I mean, he is traveling with us. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. As long as he doesn't say anything stupid, I'll be fine. Mm. 
be like, mm, have you seen this guy's track record so She's far? She's just kind of like, her eyes just like look to the distance like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fell out. Beautiful. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be the picture of politeness. You have a sinking feeling that one of you won't survive this adventure. <laughs> she has a very good sense of character. <laughs> oh, okay, so I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's fair. Josh is never going to go to bed for real. He's not going to be on Switch. Okay. Good. Good, because I can't keep affording Nintendo to get off our backs. So, uh... <laughs> I think all of the battling actually wore him out enough for him to sleep this time. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? <laughs> Also, he's half dead, so oh, that helps. Yeah, yeah, he is. He 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 is pretty low on health, and he needs to rest. Time for a long rest. Yeah. Yep. All right. So you guys go to bed, and you you take your sweet long rest. When you wake up, it's dawn. It's that time of day where it's like mostly dark outside, but like some of the first rays of morning are starting to shine through. Solus is already up. Yeah, I've figured much. Uh, Solus so actually. Tomorrow. Guys, stop. Go to bed. I mean, well, I mean, Devorah is a fucking wood elf. She travels the woods. Of course she's going to be up at dawn. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Josh is still asleep. Uh, poor, beautiful baby. Um, uh, Solus, uh, you peek outside the window, and uh, it's easy for you to see that there isn't another soul walking around the streets. There is not even an ink monster, as far as you can tell. So, so things are looking pretty all right this fine morning. Are you guys going to wake up Josh and head downstairs? Yeah, we're gonna have to because we gotta be getting, we gotta be heading out. Mm-hmm. And then Solus does her morning prayers. Okay, yeah, that's good. So once you guys are all like collected, you head downstairs and you see that Catherine is sitting on a chair that's in front of the door. Uh, she has her weapon in her lap, but you can kind of tell that she's dozing off a little bit. Oh, morning, Catherine. Morning, Catherine. Hmm? Oh. Oh, good morning. Uh, rough night, huh? Yeah. 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 Um, you can go ahead and uh, take a rest. I don't think there's any more ink marshes out there. Oh, there isn't? Oh, thank God. It's more, it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back upstairs. It was not fun sitting on that chair for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys around. Have fun up there. Bye. Mm-hmm. And she just goes upstairs. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Salve is still, uh, cleaning up as best as he can. He's been at this for hours. Oh. And those stains don't look any less stainy than before. Uh, stainy is a word now. I coined it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> yeah. Um, Phoenix is already, uh, up and ready to go. He's actually sitting at, uh, one of the tables. And he just kind of, like, you know, waves at you guys as you head down. Morning. Morning. You guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. Yep. As ready as I'll ever be. All right, well, let's let's get going. All right, so uh, you guys start heading out, and because you guys have... Actually, where are you guys going before I start We're going to the back of the church. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad you remembered. Yeah, because that's what Warren told... That's where Warren said our, his hideout was. Yes. Yep. So finding the church is a lot easier this time around because you guys have already been there. So I'm not going to make you do any fancy investigation roles this time. <laughs> Wait, um, quick quick question, though. Yes. Um, and this is out of character. Okay. Should we tell Phoenix a little bit of what we found out? Uh, that might be a good idea, because so far he just knows you have a lead. Yes. So I think before we enter, we like just give him a little brief overview of what happened. Okay. Uh, uh, before you get to that brief overview, though. Um, about halfway, th- uh, halfway to getting to the church, you guys think you might have spotted something? I want you all to, uh, roll for perception. Ooh. Oh, that's my best thing. That is a 16 plus 3, so I got a 19 out of that! Ooh, nice. I see all with my elven eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got an 11 plus 3 is 14. Ooh, that's also pretty good. I got a 10 plus 2, so 12. Ah, that's pretty all right. Yeah, uh, what did Phoenix get? Holy shit, I have to do math. <laughs> yeah, he got a he got a 12. That's good enough. So you guys notice a little bit of head of you. There seems to be a 
half elf. Uh, I there's a ink monster like kind of right behind them. They don't seem to be in any danger. It kind of looks like this person is leading the ink monster away, and it seems like they're vaguely heading in the direction of the church. Hold on, let's see exactly where this person is going. I want to see if they're heading for where we're going. Okay. Well, if you want to follow this this person, I'm going to make you roll a stealth check. Good. That is my jam. That is not my jam. Yeah, just to make sure that you guys are stealthing. <laughs> 13 plus 3, that's 16. 16? Yep. Okay. I got a 6 plus 1 is 7. Well, that's not as great. No. Um. I got a four plus one, so five. I think I'll sit this one out. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, well Phoenix got a got a twelve, which is good enough. So uh, him and Devora are able to like help you guys be a little bit quieter, and you guys follow this uh, this half elf, and this half elf goes straight towards the uh, the back of the church. And you know, like, those little, like, metal hatches where, like, you open the doors outward and then there's a little staircase? They they open one of those and lead this ink monster down into this hatch. Okay. Before we go there, Phoenix, how much do you know about this plague? Well, uh, it's a plague, right? I mean, what else is there to know besides the fact that people are getting sick and they're dying? Good point. Uh, so you see, we we kind of found out who did it, but they're in jail, so again, you don't have to worry about that. Um, okay. But apparently, there was someone else that knew about it, and they're down there. And so I'm going to go ahead and assume that whoever just walked down there is her. So, yeah, thought you should know. All right, all right, then. Yeah, let's just go after her then. But, but, mm -hmm. we promised the person in jail not to harm her, so please, I know you're yeah. pissed off, and you have every right to, but just leave this one alone. Please. Yeah. We made a promise. All right, all right. Thank you. Are you gonna just, like, turn her over to the police or something? We'll see how things go. Mm, fair enough. All right, well, let's let's wrap this up then move out. Thank you for listening to Tales of Familial Eternity. The music in this episode featured songs from Ross Bugden, Zach Zabriskie, and Kevin McLeod. Additional sounds from Tabletop Audio and YouTube Audio Library. Links are available in the description. If you liked this episode, please leave a comment or message and tell us what you think. And if you'd like to learn more about our characters as well as the campaign, please follow us at ToffeeCast at both Twitter and Tumblr for more information. <laughs>